So this is actually done. But if one does not do that, as you see in this picture, the opposite comes true then. If you love this world, this love, this enslaves you, enslaves you. As as well, oh Allah Ta'ala, that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala sent message to the dunya. أوحى الله تعالى إلى الدنيا أن أخدمي من خدمني وأتعبي من خدمك. That Allah sends dunya a message, this world, this thing, the thing which is contained. Serve the one who serves me. And slave the one who serves you. Make you the perfect. You see, the message is very clear. Because once you make anything, actually you are purpose, as we'll be mentioning again, that thing become your master. That thing become your master. And Sayyidina Imam Hassan radiallahu ta'ala, he was asked that, uh, how is it uh, uh, before that, let me, uh, last time I didn't mention that, we mentioned this hadith regarding this as well. The, the Prophet ﷺ said, "Man kana the dunya hammahu, farraq Allah alayhi amra, wa jala fakrahu bayna aynayhi." That whoever will make this life the purpose, what do you mean this life the purpose, not akhirah? That is his greatest concern. One is living; you are earning thing. You can become millionaire. You become king. Doesn't matter. But once you make this life your purpose, that is the problem. Because then it will rule you. So he said, Man kana ti dunya hammahu farraq Allahu alayhi amra. The Allah will scatter your affairs. Here you are, finish. So, like I'm showing this person. There are people who have been trying to become kings of the world, the presidents and things, etc. But their affairs, are scattered. Wajala Fakrahu Bainai, their hearts and minds are depressed and they still feel they don't have enough. Wa atathu dunya walam yatihim na dunya illa maputi balad. Only still only that part of world the share will come which Allah has destined. One man kana til akhira to niya to hu. Whoever will make his purpose akhirah. Jama Allahu lahu amra. Allah will gather his affairs. Allah will put his matter. Allah will solve his matter. Waja'ala ghinahu fi qalbi. And Allah will enrich. His heart will be more richer than any king of the world. The people who are poorer, actually you may say, from the heart and the outwardly they are kings, but they want more and more and more. So, that is a sign. If you want more and more, that is a sign. Because that, that never ends. وَجَعَلَ غِنَاهُ فِي قَلْبِي وَأَتَتْهُ الدُّنْيَا وَهِيَ رَاغِمَا And the Prophet Islam said, that these people will also get share of this world, but in an honorable way. The kuffar, the sinners also get the share, but in a disgraceful way. Someone is selling drugs, someone is killing others, someone is missing prayer, someone has just messed out his life and getting little bit of share. The share still is coming to them, but in a disgraced manner, in a dishonorable manner. And this person, who is servant of Allah, his share will also come, but in an honorable way, through halal, through honor, through dignity. All these things actually. So, so this is the one of the reality that you are, you will your back and your you will be burdened by Allah will actually enslave you to it if you because you have done it yourself. So Kahaf mentions Awliya Allah in his in the Surah. So Awliya Allah live like this, they are in the in the cave. 
And people of dunya are below the mountain. They are living among the mountain. Now it's up to you where you want to live. Soon as you make the, it is purpose, you are a burden under it. As soon as you make akhirah your purpose, the dunya becomes under you. You get your stay. You still get here. All people who are living, they are eating, drinking, things, etc., etc. But their inner states will be different. The lover of dunya will always be jealousy, never actually. They have no problem if they don't have the car or the house, but they have problem if the other person gets the house. You know, this is what type of burden a person can, can get. If look at what it has to do with him. Please, no, I can't buy, I can't this. Okay, that's fine. The other person has, now this is burden for me. Why? This is love of me actually burdening me. For nothing. The other person is enjoying and the, all the rubbish and, and the thing and the negativity is coming towards me. Well, what, what is, where is justice I'm doing to myself? Others are enjoying blessing, I am getting the stress of their blessing. What a lustful transaction and ideology I am doing. It should be that actually, that mom, no, I'm not, I do not care, Allah has created me as well. I will, I will also enjoy life, why? I would have to be stressed out of the blessings of others. Anyway. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's light, guidance, shine and guidance comes, mercy comes, rahmati, wasiyat, kulla shay. But there are certain things which we actually create this barrier to stop these coming. So sin, pride, wealth, because we are here and the light comes on the mountain and the, uh, and the cave. So awliya, those people who have made the higher their purpose, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure and things, they enjoy both best of both worlds, they get of the dunya and also of akhirah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa And the one who make the dunya their purpose, they lose both. Not hasana in dunya and no hasana in akhirah. So it's a Good that you go for that, that if you say, let's say, if some shopkeeper say, oh, if you buy an apple from me, I will give you an orange as well. And if you buy an orange, you are not getting nothing. No apple, no orange. So everyone will be happy, why should I shall lose? I'll get this one and the other thing is free with me. And if I go for the free one, I'm not getting anything. Like we went to a... a uh, market, the other person, he said, uh, I am selling these plates. One, if you get one, this one is free. The person with money, he said, I'll take the free one. He said, no, no, you can't have that. He said, you said it's free. And he said, no, only when you take this, the other one comes free. If you take this, you're getting nothing. Same is the case. If you go for akhirah, dunya comes free with it. And if you go for dunya, okay, I'll go for the free thing, then you lose actually the benefit of both of them. Even you have money, thing, uh, that you cannot enjoy, cannot enjoy because money, uh, as they say in one of the, in one uh, verse of Quran, uh, that everything in the heaven and earth glorifies Allah, every stone, every the, even the gold, even the even the gold, even the diamond, even the silver, that's also doing dhikr of Allah. So how is this situation that the thing which I am taking, that's doing dhikr, and for that I am forgetting the Creator. So that gold is doing dhikr of Allah, and to attain that gold, I am forgetting my khalik. The gold is remembering its own khalik, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is doing, it's in the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything glorifies Allah between heaven and earth. وَإِمِّنْ شَيْءٍ إِلَّا يُسَبِّهُ بِحَمْدِهِ وَلَا كِلَّا تَفْقَهُونَ تَسْبِيحَهُمْ Allah says there is nothing in the heaven and earth which does not glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
but you don't understand. So only so what's the message? Allah is saying that I have created you to glorify me and you are not doing and things which are created to serve you, they are serving you as well as doing my dhikr. What are you doing, O human being? I created you. I created you for this purpose. The other thing I didn't create for, what they created was to serve you. Whatever the heaven and earth is subservient is for the benefit of human being. And the human being is to be the servant of Allah and to be kings. Allah wants us to be kings forever. And we are just actually happy with the gutter. Like we are owning a gutter, a toilet seat. I want to own this toilet seat. The other person say, no, I want to give you a country, a kingship of a country. You can rule whole England. And the other person, no, no, I am happy with this toilet seat. Okay, I can earn some money keeping toilets clean and clean. The example of dunya and akhira is even actually greater, humorous difference than that between Thailand and the kingship of all of the country.